Good to see. Thanks, Andreas. Appreciate your time. We know it's an intriguing midfield battle, isn't it? Just seven points separating themselves in third and Renault down in fifth. Now, Lewis Hamilton uh, was complaining, wasn't he, after those two penalties at the end of the uh, Russian Grand Prix, saying they are out to get me, studying the case for his defence at the Skypad. Uh, Nico is there alongside Karim. Yeah, thanks, Simon. That was a big talking point with the fans back at home as well. You know, is, is the FIA out to get Lewis? I'm not convinced they are, and, and Nico, we haven't had a chance to, to talk about this before. So let's first show people at home and, and review what happened. So this was Lewis. All the drivers did a practice start at the end of the pit lane. Lewis decided not to do a start there. He thought there was too much rubber, and he went down to the end of the pit lane. Now, that's a strange place to stop, isn't it? Uh, that's totally strange. I mean, because the, it's a designated place where we all need to do our practice starts. And this is dangerous because there's a corner where people are coming around and they're going really, really fast. There's that, that you're not allowed to do a practice start there. That's very, very clear. Everybody knows that. And, and the reality is, you know, he got penalized for going over the white line, safety guard line two, uh, and doing the practice start. Now, Mercedes made the point that Charles Leclerc did the same thing at Spa. So you can see, actually, I'll go back. At the first start, you can see he's on the white line. He does it, his, his first practice start. He goes around, and, and on his second one, look, there's the line on the left. He goes past it and does the same. So for Mercedes look at it and say, well, he did the same thing. He went beyond the white line and did a practice start. But it's a different <laughs> scenario, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, maybe if you read the black and white uh, on the, in, in the regulations, then maybe one could have even, even given him a much smaller penalty. But come on, I mean, uh, here it's worth just mentioning it and then just avoid doing it next time and that's it because you, you shouldn't get a penalty for that. So Johnny Herbert and the stewards at Spa, they were quite right to let Leclerc off the hook there. The other thing that, that's come up is the fact that um, there was an, you know, an incident at lap one. There was Leclerc and Stroll at turn four in Sochi. Now, this was Hamilton and Albon in Austria. Can you just stop that? I need to yep. interrupt that there is a difference here because here it's Leclerc passing uh, Stroll before this moment, whereas here it's, a, it's reversed, you know? So already that's quite a big difference because yep. here it's reversing who's passing who. Yeah, good point. And now when we look, as you go around the corner, this is, you know, there's a tighter gap. Stroll is coming back at Leclerc there. And so the stop there. So if yep. I can say here now, here, because Leclerc has passed Stroll, and he's made his, his position, his car significantly in the inside, was even ahead. It's kind of Leclerc's corner. And Stroll needs to be the one who pays attention on the outside as well and definitely maximizes the use of the track, which he's not doing. And here, it's Albon's corner because Albon is ahead and he's made the pass stick. So it's Lewis who needs to be careful because Albon deserves that space there and has the corner. And then Lewis runs into him. So there is a difference uh, between the situations. Yeah, so I think, you know, th there were a lot of fans and this, this video I saw all over the internet and fans were asking and tweeting us into Sky F1 asking about it, looking at this freeze frame. But you're absolutely right. This does this frame here doesn't tell the full story, isn't it? It, it is a different circumstance as to how they arrived here. Um, I, I, I personally don't think that Lewis is being targeted by, by the FIA. He, he was obviously emotional and, and highly charged after the race. What's your, what's your take on that? No, of course he's not being targeted. Of, although in the past we've often seen the championship leader when he's like run away trying to be targeted. But in this case, I think it's more or less been okay and fair, you know, the penalties that he got. In fact, they even took away uh, one of the penalties that they give Lewis in terms of the points. They even reverted on that. So it's really, they're trying to be fair and I think it's all okay. And it's just really down to Lewis. He needs to be more careful and, and not, uh, not break the rules like he's been doing. All right, Nico, great to get your thoughts as always. Simon, back to you. Yeah, he had the penalty points rescinded. Do you, do you think he's been unfairly treated, Martin? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I think they're, you know, the stewards are, are making the decision they're making. Uh, they, they put a different filter on the first lap of the race when you know you put 20 cars together and you're going to have more contact, more incidents. Um, Lewis, in a way, is lucky that in, with former hierarchy, shall we call it, of the FIA, uh, if you made comments like that, they would uh, take you out of the next race or something. But uh, I understand his emotion, his passion, and, and uh, how he feels. He seems to be on the receipt.